kindness, for his faithfulness, for his favor, for all of his interventions. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory for being merciful unto us, for your kindness unto us, for your diverse intervention. Lord, we are grateful. We give you praise, O Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. El Shaddai, we say thank you. Dependable God, we say thank you. Reliable God, we say thank you. Merciful God, we say thank you for every help, for every provision, for every supply. Lord, we say thank you. Be thou magnified. Be thou glorified for how you are moving this church forward, for how you are helping the winner's family. Thank you for many destinies that I imagine. We give you praise for aborting the agenda of hell, for disgracing the plan of wickedness. Father, we say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. This prayer will force your destiny to answer. Hear me and write it down. Your destiny must answer. Whatever power has limited your destiny from seeing glory, today the veil over your life will scatter. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Your tears will be wiped away. Your tears will be wiped away. Every delay over your destiny will crash. Every force fighting your destiny will be humiliated. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Congratulations. Please get seated. My destiny must answer. Say it. My destiny must answer. Every destiny is destined for fulfillment. Every destiny is destined for fulfillment. Every destiny is programmed for accomplishment. Every destiny is planned for actualization. He that has begun a good work in you. He that has begun a good work in me is faithful. God never starts what he cannot finish. God never gives a destiny that will be difficult for him to handle. God never gives a destiny to you that will be difficult for him to manage. I know the plan that I think towards you plans to prosper you and not to harm you to give you a future a hope, an unexpected end. God never gives you a destiny that Satan can stop. God never gives you a destiny that witchcraft can eliminate. God never gives you a destiny that, will be, that forces can limit. He said he gives his spirit without limits. John 3 verse 34. So your destiny is programmed for full accomplishment. Your destiny is programmed for full fulfillment. To them that he did predestine, he called. To them he called, he justified. To them he justified, he also glorified. Before you were born, I knew thee. Before you were formed, I consecrated thee and ordained thee for this purpose. Hear me? You have an unstoppable destiny. 
you carry an unstoppable future. But I like us to understand that only the hand of God can fulfill the plan of God. Only the hand of God can accomplish our glorious destiny. Like who I meant to understand the other day, in your destiny is unlimited progress. In your destiny is unlimited abundance. In your destiny is overfruitfulness. In your destiny is too much money. Too much money in your destiny. In your destiny is too much houses. He called Abraham, look up to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west, as far as your eyes can see, I will give it to you. But hear this, for the hand of God to show for your destiny manifestation, your faith must be put to work. Faith is beyond saying. Faith is a spirit. Every time the spirit of faith is released, it is drawing destiny into reality. We having the same spirit of faith, we believe, therefore we speak. So destiny answers to the fullness of the spirit of what has been believed. And Isaiah 53 and verse 1, who has believed our reports? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Who has believed? And Jesus said, if thou canst believe, your problem is you. It's not God. If thou canst believe, thou shalt see. What you believe is what you see. Not what somebody is wishing you. You can wish me evil and be disgraced by God. Are you wrong saying that? You can wish me nonsense. No one is coming to pass. Who said it in and it coming to pass when the Lord commanded it not? Because I've also seen from his word, my cancer shall stand and I will do all of my good pleasures. So your wish is nonsense. God does not even reckon with it when he wants to bless me. Blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a performance. Should I tell you something? You are the one tying the hand of God. Your doubts tie the hand of God. Your doubts limit God. Your hopelessness handicap God. Blessed is she that believeth. For there shall be a performance. What you believe, you will not stop saying it. If you believe it, you will keep echoing it. First John 5, 4. Whatsoever is born of God. Overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. This is what guarantees your overcoming your faith. Whatsoever is born of God, whatever God can imagine, you are a God. Who, if He called them God unto whom the word of the Lord came. How come you are angry that I am saying that ye are gods? 
they know not, neither will they understand. All the foundation of the earth are gone out of course. I have said, ye are gods. Whatsoever is born of God. Whatever God desires can come to pass. It has never failed. Whatsoever is born of God. To be born means to be conceived. Are you wrong saying now? There are two conceptions. Spiritual conception and physical conception. Spiritual conception takes place in your heart. And Sarah conceived seeds. Spiritual, con- phys- the first conception takes place in the realm of the spirit. The spirit man has pictured it. It has imaged it. It has imagined it. Whatsoever is born of God must see reality. Even God himself said, this they have been gone to imagine and nothing shall be restrained from them. How many things? Whatsoever is born of God. So you must believe God that you have a workable destiny. You must believe God that you have an unstoppable destiny. You must believe God that you have a destiny that must be accomplished. You must believe God that your expectation in destiny must enter your hand. Surely there is an end and thy expectation shall not be cut off. If truly you believe God and you believe your destiny, that limitation will be wiped out today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Amen. If your destiny must answer to you, get ready. We are not just only talking faith. We must be engaged in the fight of faith. You say fight the good fight of faith. So get ready. Why? Because there will be obvious contentions. There will be oppositions. 2 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 9. You say, for a great door and effectual is open unto us, but there are many. How many? As you are finishing one, one is getting ready. As you are crushing one, another one is saying, okay, let me go and try. There are many. So on the path of destiny fulfillment, there are planted oppositions. Organized opposition, planted distractions. So, if your destiny must answer to you, you must fight for them to answer. And people who are wishing, they are the ones that are not seeing anything. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, lay hold. On the word. Lay hold on the knowledge of the truth. And you shall know the truth. And the truth you know. Shall set you free. This charge I commit unto thee. Son Timothy. By the prophecy that have gone on before on thee. That by them thou mightest war. A good warfare. You must fight. And God echoed again in Deuteronomy chapter 2, is this verse 4, verse 24? 24, Abi? Please put that scripture. I'd like us to see it now. Deuteronomy 2, verse 24. Rise ye up. Take your journey. You know, destiny is a journey. And pass over the river Anon. Behold, I have given into thy hand Sion, the Amorite, king of Hishbon, and his land. Begin to possess it. 
and what? Why will you contend for what he has given? And contend with him in battle. There are forces that will contend with your breakthrough, with your financial lifting, with your marital glory. There are forces that will contend. That is why I say you must what? Fight. Contend with them. So faith is strengthened to deliver on the knowledge of the world by the power of the world. So every time we are taking in the world, what we are doing, we are increasing our faith capacity to win. Faith does not just win. Depending on the size of the blessing. That is why it is our tax to work on our faith. Everything our destiny will require has already been given. But you will need faith to fight them. You must need faith to contend with opposition. You will need faith to crush barriers. God has given to us everything that pertains to life and godliness. But hear me, you don't just wish them, you fight for them. You fight for them. So if you must take the blessings that are prepared, <laughs> eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, that as he entered into the heart of man, what God has prepared for him. If you must take what has been prepared for you, hear me, get ready for a fight of faith. Taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench. Not some, all the fiery darts. All the fiery darts of the wicked. There are fiery darts released every day against your destiny, against your financial breakthrough, against your marital breakthrough, against your career lifting. Hear me? You don't take blessings with a gentle face. Taking the shield of faith. Yeah, there is a violent dimension that faith operates on. If blessing must answer to you. When you know there are contentions, will you, will you not be sitting there and be saying that one day God will do it? Do what? God said, the day you are ready, I'm ready. Jesus met a man by the pool of Bethesda. He's not asking you, would that be made whole? You already know his condition. And your name is Messiah. Your name is Savior. You are not asking me, would that be made whole? Is it not contradictory? It is to you according to your faith. I have power to help you. But what will attract that power to help you is what you believe. So faith must go the violent dimension if the contentions against your destiny must answer. up. So no matter how gentle you look, you can only take, make destiny to answer using violence. Why? Why? There is need for you to know why. There are dark powers. Now, there are some people, they will be sleeping. They don't even see what is pressing them. They don't see what is pressing them. So, if you are pressed mysteriously, you must attack mysteriously. You don't ask. You that is pressing me, what is your name? If you have a name, come out now. You don't do that. Every mysterious force oppressing me, I attack you by the blood. You too, you don't see the blood. Do you see the blood? We only sprinkle the blood. The spirit, you don't see it. Every mysterious power 
contending with my life. I attack you by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is an attacking weapon. You that is pressing my neck, show me your face. You don't need to see the face. So. If you are waiting to see the face, the person, the thing can strangle you. Are you know what I'm saying now? Hey, if they press me, they press me. I won't shout Jesus. I know fit. See down there. <laughs> see down there, they wait from when you will be able to shout Jesus. Instead of getting up from the bed and reacting, you say, yeah, you want to shout Jesus. <laughs> hey. So there are dark powers. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? There are dark powers. There are also foundational forces. What is confronting us is plenty. Some people, what is confronting them is from their village. Foundational force cannot attack you if there is no covenant in place. Yes. They can only attack you if there is a covenant in place. And by reason of your privileged birth in that family, you are part of their inheritance. So they will come for claims. That's why you must fight. Why? He has translated me from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son, Jesus Christ. So on the authority of the blood, I break the power of that covenant. I break the hold of that covenant. You are attacked you by the blood of Jesus. What is the guarantee that it must break? Turn ye to your stronghold. Ye prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. So wherever the enemy wants to cage your destiny, maritally, financially, career-wise, <laughs> If you come by the blood, he said they overcame him by the blood. So the blood is an overcoming weapon. It's a fiery weapon. You must engage it to overcome. The blood is a, is a weapon of vengeance. Jesus is not going to the cross the second time. He has gone once and that once is enough. Beside that, there are human agents anointed by Satan to fight your destiny. They even come to church. But hear me, I know one scripture that says they shall perish in the presence. You have not seen that scripture before? Okay. Isaiah 68, let's read. That's why I'm happy when they are coming. Because I'm confirming their sentence. Isaiah 68. Be fast, though. Oh, Psalm 68. Don't mind me, I'm drunk. Verse 1. Let God what? Let his enemies be what? Let them also that hate him. Go to verse 2 now. Flip to verse 2. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melted before the fire, so let the wicked perish. At where? So every enemy that is coming to refill, are they kill you? Are they bury your destiny? anyone that is here on assignment against any member of this church ah, the proclamation is landing your head let the wicked perish at the presence of God so even if they assign you against me come welcome sit down well so that as I'm prophesying you will be the first it will, the first landing will be on your head let the wicked perish. Adam. You know, when a dog wants to die, it does not know the smell of shit. 
Does he know the smell of shit? He doesn't know. So every human agent of darkness, even in your neighborhood, on assignment against you, they will go for you. There were human agents against Jesus. One of them is called Herod. Herod wanted Jesus wiped out by all means. To the point that he said every child below two years should be killed. Not knowing that God has already appeared. Take this child out to Egypt. Until when I will ask you to return back. God has a plan of exemption. For every glorious destiny. Before even we strike your destiny. God has pushed you out. He has moved you to another vocation. So anyone on assignment against your destiny. Hear me? Anyone on assignment to fight your destiny from answering. Financially, materially, maritally, fruitfulness wise. They will go for you. You are saying amen. Better say a good one now. There are also marine powers. Now, their operations are hidden. But if you understand, you will know that something is at work. Uh, where is that man? There was one man that showed me one picture. Somebody came to his house, invited them to church. After inviting them to church, he's now inviting them to native doctor. There's no who. Wait. After the woman came to their house, he started seeing snakes in his dream. He came under what we call severe attack. Are you what I'm saying now? Now her mission was to make sure that his marriage scattered. But because of the fiery prayer we are praying here, the woman has run away from this church. So I'm, I'm saying that uh, I told the man that uh, Holy Ghost will bring her a cup. <laughs> I know why I say so. The Holy Ghost will bring her what? Come. Why? Well, because she needs to carry Koboko. Yes. Marine powers can program you for destruction. They can arrange you for disaster. They can disfigure your destiny. That's why they're angry with me now. Oh, that's it, brother. God bless you, my brother. You will live long. I said you will live long. Amen. Whatever they have planned to do against you, their plans will crash. Amen. They can disfigure destiny. They can wrongly matchmate you. Oh, you don't know? They can make you marry their marine agent. So that they will tell you, welcome, you belong to our kingdom. That's why we said in the other day that uh, when we are praying for, when we are talking about helpers of destiny, that if you are praying for marriage, you need God. You need what? God. You need to pray God. Because your destiny is glorious. And Satan is on a mission to see how it will be disfigured. Your destiny must not be disfigured. Yeah. They can scatter marriage. You don't know. They can scatter marriage. They can make sure that a marriage is scattered. Either they will bring a marine friend for the wife or they will arrange a marine girlfriend for the husband. Before you know what's happening, the moment he enter, before you know what's happening, the thing done, they scatter. They can swallow blessings. 
Some people's words are locked up by marine powers. I remember I shared the testimony of one of my boys in one of my stations down down Delta. He had a sister he wanted to marry. So he said that um, he will want my blessing. I said, I'm not the one that bless you. It's God that bless. I said, are you sure you married? He said, have you people prayed? He said, I proposed already. I said, okay, but you can still pray. I know where I'm going. I said, well, you can still pray. Do you want to pray? And I gave them prayer. That same day, say with me, that same day. They fought. The sister almost used scissors to choke the guy. That same day, they fought. So which kind of year prayer did you go to meet Pastor Tony to give us to pray? But I'm not doing this prayer again. I know the marine powers in her, they are angry. It was after they fought, he told me the dream he had. What was the dream? She used something that looked like that um, offering bucket. Not basket, too. The big one that she was collecting his palm. She was the one holding the thing. I said, Oh boy, run for your life. <laughs> it was difficult for him to accept. But I said, If you dare it, you are gone. Final. I said, The reason why she wants to marry Nabi is because. Uh, your father have plenty fish pond. Man, the guy your father fish pond. He over 30. <laughs> fish pond that is up to 200 meters. Eight pond, not be normal concrete. 200 meters. Eight pond. I say, now the thing when you see nine one is Mario. Maybe one can confirm the marine fish. It's true now. <laughs> so, and I said, okay, bring her. I said, I'm not coming. She relocated to worry where nobody will know her. Funny enough, I went to teach Wobi in a... <laughs> I went to teach Wobi in a bishop a robust church. He's a bishop now. My friend is now a bishop. I went to teach Wobi, so he said, you are not going or you will preach. So, and I preached. <laughs> so, during time of communion, I began to see the parade. You know how they watch where where. <laughs> I said, boy, come on. You see this person? Tell your brothers to be careful. I call her name Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> to let you know I've not forgotten your name. So he asked the sister to see him the following day. Till today. <laughs> Till today. <laughs> Disappear. The brother had to take off to Lagos. So he did his... Um, he arranged everything, did his marriage in Lagos. He left the wonderful Rachel. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? If he had made that mistake, his destiny would have been locked up. Baka. Lock up. Just like one that happened to one pastor. Just after the wedding. I want to let you know. I was sent to trap you. And thank God I finally got in you. Just immediately after the wedding. Now the pastor said, even though I don't marry you, I cannot die with you. You have to go and seek permission from senior men and divorce her. All these are products of 
marine he said programming are you talking I rather, I rather remain on marriage than to manage this. There are also delegated forces assigned to hinder you. Even Paul said, <laughs> he said in one place, uh, and uh, how did he put it? Okay, let's go. There's a way he described it. He said, and he resisted me and hindered me. There are forces that resist. They resist does not mean that you should not insist. If you insist, they must give up. Are you what I'm saying now? But hear me? Even though they are arranged, there's what we call mouth. Tell your neighbor, I have mouth. Now, I want to shock everyone here. Your destiny is connected to your mouth. Your breakthrough is connected to where? I give you a mouth. And a what? Which your adversary shall not be able to do what? Resist. No what? Then say. You can't. I give you what? I give you what? Okay, studio, put the scripture. Maybe they are not see, maybe they are not they are not hearing it well. For I will give you a what? And what? Which all, not some, all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay. To gainsay means they can't have their way. No what? Resist. Now, do you know why he said I give you a mouth? He said to Jeremiah, he said, see, this day I have touched your tongue with what? No, not fire. There's a difference between fire and coal or fire. He said, see, this day I have touched your tongue with a coal of fire. And these people shall be what? Stubble. Which means when you release fire, they burn as chaff. That's why I pity any gossiper. You don't lose your fire. No gossiper has fire in their mouth. They have lost it. So be talking. The more you gossip, the more your destiny perish. Now you, they suffer. You are losing the rights that makes your destiny to be fulfilled. You are losing the power that propels your destiny. You are losing it. You are losing it. And you know, you'll be doing it unconsciously, unconsciously thinking that uh, you are feeling good. You are feeling bad. Your destiny is getting more badder. Why would Jesus now say in Mark 11, verse 23 and 24, what things soever ye desire? Please rest with that scripture. For verily I say unto you, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he what? Now look at verse 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire when ye pray believe that you receive them and you shall do what? Have them. There is something here. You don't waste it. Hidden in the tongue is the power of life and death. Then the love shall eat the fruit thereof. Our mouth is the propeller for our glorious destiny. Our tongue is the driving force for our glorious destiny. And he said again, all them that spoil thee shall be for what? A spoil. 
You can't spoil me and go free. Oh. I will spoil your own pass. See it in scripture. Spoil me. Where you want wrong? I dare with you. Let's see it in scripture. Jeremiah 30 verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee, that have been devouring your destiny, shall be what? Devour. And all that adversary, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee, shall be what? A spy. And all that prey upon thee, I will give for a prey. I will submit you. You can't tear my destiny, devour my destiny without fire burning you. All day that devour thee shall be what? Devour. So you must keep the Lord, let fire devour them. Let fire devour their camp. Let their plans backfire. <laughs> Every spoiler of my destiny, let their own spoil pass. Their own will be damaged beyond recovery. Your mouth is your ticket. Any coven where they are making meeting because of me, let their coven catch fire. Yeah. Eh? Your mouth is your ticket. Your mouth is your ticket. So if your destiny must answer, you must speak it into fulfillment. You don't just wait. They say, oh Lord, oh Lord, have your way. You say, have your, have, have your way, speak the way, so I will go. He said, I should have my way. Oh, yeah, say it. Let me go. He said, I will do the very thing that I hear you say. I will do the very thing that I hear you say. Hear me? No devil can stop you. Amen. What did I say? No do you know why the blessings have not come? You have been keeping too quiet. You are too quiet for the kind of destiny you like. You are too quiet for the kind of future you want to see. Papa said it in Winning Invisible Battles. He said, I've been saying these things over 20 years ago. He said, I'm not surprised that they are all coming to pass. He said, I would have rather been surprised if they didn't come to pass. Rise up to your feet. You must marry. Uh, I said, You must marry. You see that house? You will build that house. You see your baby? You must carry the baby. Your head must be lifted. No one in your family will suffer captivity again. The witch that is angry with you, angry with the blessing, will go down for you in the name of Jesus. You have a um, Seven minutes. The only thing you can do is to copy the prayer. When you go home, you pray the remaining one. But I want you to pray under this corporate influence. One shall chase a thousand. Two shall chase ten thousand. As you pray, I see fire burning the camp of the wicked. Any strong man or diabolic force fighting your blessing, they go down for you today. Make that amen louder. Amen. Lift up your voice right now, studio. Father, in the name of Jesus, Nakushi Preketezosia, in Kokarete, I command vengeance upon any altar contending against my destiny. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command vengeance upon any altar. Contending against my destiny. Contending against the plan of God for my life. Merush kiku kaprakata. Meketoli aberushe kute. Eto laka tose siza. Any altar. Contending against my glorious future. Contending against the plan of God for my life. Contending against my destiny. I command vengeance upon them. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, arise, blood of Jesus, arise, silence 
any evil voice. Silence any evil voice. Silence any evil voice. Crying out against my destiny. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Silence their mouths. Silence that evil voice. Silence that wicked voice. Crying out against my destiny. Let them be silenced permanently. E Karoda Basoteto. Blood of Jesus. Silence their oppression. Silence their network. Any power. Say no to my destiny. Destiny of fulfillment. Destiny of breakthrough. Destiny of financial success. Destiny of fruitfulness. Die by fire. Any power. Say no to my destiny. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Le copre peteto. In caca eriete. Jeruta. Legorata. Zegorobos. E copre kedes. Le catege redus. Jesus yagega. Lagorobotepo. Whoever has found an evil vow to stop my glorious destiny, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Lekote Bredia. Eragagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagag
My destiny. Answer. My destiny. Answer for progress. My destiny. Answer for lifting. My destiny. Answer for breakthrough. My destiny. Answer for fruitfulness. My destiny. Answer for abundance. My destiny. Answer for amazing supply. My destiny. Answer for progress. Answer for restoration. Answer for breakthrough. My destiny. Answer for progress. My destiny. Answer for fruitfulness. My destiny. Answer for lifting. Any witch. Any wizard. Any evil man. On assignment. To stop my destiny. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy against you. Die. I prophesy against you. Die. I prophesy against you. Die. Zekoto Brodia. Enga Balego Dodo. Enga Balego Dodo. Enga Balego Dodo. Zeko Kaka Kaka. Empra Pale Keteke. Zerushiaga. Zerushiaga. Becaretele. Erragadego. Jegura kataka. Jegole bere bere bere. Jegole bere 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 bere. Lagara bado bado bado. Lagara bado 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 bado. Lagara bado bado bado. Zeku kaka kaka. Mekete koroto. Erraga daga 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 daga. Jegolo godo godo. Blood of Jesus, arise for vengeance against every enemy that has fallen. To stop my destiny. Blood of Jesus. Stop my stoppers. Attack. Attack. Blood of Jesus. Attack. Blood of Jesus. Attack. With vengeance. Every enemy. Of my glorious destiny. Let them. Come under the vengeance of the blood. Rishi Akaba and Zuzu le Kebreke Rekote Peria Malero Boshukaba and Prabale Godos Shekukaka Engereto Jesunania Ekakareta Jeso Likatate Shekubreketeliata and Papaliareto Jenu Kataleta Shekoperagadaga Lagaragadegoso Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Begin to thank God. 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 Laboroski Denzo. Lamba Baleruta. By this communion, every day that the enemy has been using against you, by the blood, they are scattered. What the enemy vowed you will never be able to get. By the blood that speaketh better things, those blessings will be forced into your hand. If you are saying amen, say better amen. As you partake of this communion, whatever the enemy has tampered with in your destiny, whatever the enemy has tampered with in your future, whatever the enemy has stopped from working, well, by the blood, Forceful restoration take place. Forceful restoration take place. Forceful restoration take place. Whatever limits the enemy place over you, I decree as you partake of this communion, the limit is shattered. The limit is broken. Watch out. Watch out. I speak with authority you will begin to assess what you have never been as able to assess. You will begin to handle what you have never been able to handle. Say amen like a believer. God did not give you a destiny or be limited by wickedness. I pray for you. From today, you will go forward. You will make progress. You will leave your destiny in full scale. The 
maximum blessing God has ordained for you will manifest. Amen. Say amen. amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. As you partake of this blood of sprinkling, whatever is operating in the air, we call it the prince of the power of wickedness. This blood will silence the oppression over your life. Every oppression of wickedness in the atmosphere, in the heavenlies against you, by the blood, the oppression scattered today. You will go forward. You will assess everything God has ordained for you. Your progress in destiny will not be limited. Your blessings in destiny will not be limited. Any voice of witchcraft, voice of evil men, voice of evil women, crying out against your glorious destiny, by the blood, vengeance hits them today. Say amen like a believer. So shall it be. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Their plans against you scatter. Amen. Wherever they are calling your name or the name of your family amen. for evil, by the blood, that plan scatter. Amen. That arrangement scatter. Amen. Whatever they have prepared for you to stop your destiny from manifesting, let the vengeance of the blood collect them wherever they are. Any human agent they have delegated against you as a monetary spirit to monitor your financial breakthrough, to monitor your pregnancy, to monitor your career lifting. I decree, let them be blinded by fire. Let them be smitten with affliction. Let the vengeance of God paralyze their legs. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Amen. As you go from here today, doors will open for you. As you go from here today, your destiny must answer to you. Any power limiting your helpers in destiny from reaching you, the barrier is crushed today in the name of Jesus. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Your helpers, they will locate you with speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever they have taken your picture or the picture of your family to shoot arrow at you, I command by the blood of Jesus, let the arrow go back to the sender. 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 In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Tomorrow is operation. I say you will sleep well this night. Whatever force is pursuing you and following you in dream, they, you will never see them again. In fact, if they come, they come to be destroyed. They will be destroyed by the power of God. As you sprinkle the blood within your neighborhood, every network of forces fighting you, they are crushed in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's share the goodness together. All the days of our lives, we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so.